The new magnetic mask feature in Final Cut Pro 11 should really be called Magic Mask. It is so powerful and easy to use, I couldn't believe it when I first tried it. In today's quick tip video, I'll show you three creative ways how you can use it to enhance your underwater footage. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the channel, you underwater image makers. I hope you've survived the Black Friday madness with not too much damage done to your bank account while still being able to secure some good deals. But if you're still in the shopping mood, check out last week's video if you haven't seen it yet. Some of the deals presented there are still available for a little longer, like for example the special pre-launch offer for my new GoPro online course called Mastering Your GoPro Underwater. I will link it down in the video description below. But hey, where are my manners? If you're new here, my name is Matthias. I'm an underwater cinematographer and content creator with over 15 years of experience in underwater filming, including the necessary editing process to create an engaging piece of content from your individual video clips. So if you're into underwater filming, subscribing to this channel and joining our active community is a great idea you won't regret. Promised. The software engineers from Apple have really outdone themselves with the new magnetic mask feature that came with the latest update of Final Cut Pro 11. Yes, you heard that right. If you didn't realize, we are not in Final Cut Pro 10 anymore, but have upgraded to version 11.0. Here are three useful and creative ways how you can utilize the magnetic mask on your underwater footage. Masking an object to hide and reveal text behind it is something I have done in countless video projects and it has usually cost me so much time to properly do it. Using the magnetic mask will save you a lot of time on this. Choose a clip that contains a rather large main object that you want to partially or fully cover your text with. Like for example this manta ray here. The results are going to be better if the object is well distinguishable from the background. Small, intricate and detailed objects won't work quite as well. Duplicate the clip by pressing the Option key, clicking on the clip and dragging it upwards. Shorten the duplicated clip to the part which should be interacting with the title. Add a title layer and adjust its parameters like font type, font size, position of the title, etc. Move the title layer in between the two clips. It's now invisible because the duplicated clip is covering it up. And here is where the magic with the magnetic mask happens. Select the duplicated clip. Open the effects browser and look for the magnetic mask by typing in magnetic. Drag and drop the magnetic mask effect directly onto the manta ray you want to isolate. Check that you're happy with the applied mask. If you need to make further adjustments, you can either use further control points or the brush tool. When you're happy with the masking, press Analyze. Lean back and watch the magic unfold. Depending on your computer's specs, this might take a moment. Once the analyzing process is finished, press Done and voila! Your previously hidden text will appear as a layer between your original clip and the duplicated clip being only covered by the masked out manta ray. 
If needed, readjust the text appearance and position and what would have taken you probably hours to complete before is now done in only a few moments. Quite incredible. By the way, this shot was taken during our last underwater video workshop in the Maldives in November 2023. If you want to get a chance to capture a shot like that yourself, we're hosting an auto video workshop in the Maldives in April 2025 and still have three last spots available. And yes, we will be diving that exact spot again for sure. Check out the details through the link in the video description below if you're interested in such and many more incredible encounters. How often have you tried to color correct a specific part of your shot without affecting the rest of the image? Again, this is where masking out the object in question is really beneficial. But for video, you have to do it on every single frame and I really don't know many divers who would go through that kind of extra effort. However, using the magnetic mask makes this quick and easy. In this example, we'll try to grade the shark different to the background. Again, this shot is from our last underwater video workshop in the Maldives. What a sharky area that is. First, duplicate the clip and disable the duplicated clip for now. Add a general color correction grade to the original clip. Reactivate the duplicated clip. Look for the magnetic mask tool and apply it to the shark. Fine tune the mask if needed and press analyze. Press done and you should have a pretty perfectly masked out shark. Now open the color correction panel. Select your preferred way of correcting the colors. For me, that is the color wheels and the hue saturation curves. And apply the corrections to achieve the desired look of the shark. You can obviously repeat the process with each of the sharks in the shot. Sure, sometimes depending on the scene and the object, you will need to readjust the mask a little bit or play around with the feather to make the outline softer or harder, but you will get a usable mask much, much faster than having to do this frame by frame by hand like in the old days. Just have a look again at the final result. Quite impressive. How about placing, for example, a turtle from one shot to a completely unrelated reef shot? Why? Well, because now we can with literally no effort. Check this out. Find a shot of a reef that has similar motion to your turtle shot. Also pay attention that the light is coming from about the same angle and direction. Place the turtle shot on top of your reef shot. Use the magnetic mask to select the turtle and mask it out. Add a slight feather to the mask, but the turtle still looks kinda out of place. How about we add some foreground element? For this, we duplicate our underlaying reef shot and place it on the very top. Next, we use the magnetic mask again to mask out the staghorn coral in the front. Adjust the size and position of the turtle, make sure the color grade of the turtle matches the reef scene shot and voila, we've placed the turtle in a new, prettier scene and it looks like it's emerging from behind the coral block. Not bad for two minutes of work, right? Imagine what you can do if you invest some time into playing with this new magnetic mask feature. I hope this quick tip video was useful to you and you got some new inspiration and ideas. If you want to know how to color match different underwater clips to one another, go and check out this video over here next. Thanks for watching guys. Keep capturing your awesome underwater adventures and I'll see you in the next one.